showing. Tuck those babies in. I feel so short. I feel like I should be like sitting on phone books. Okay, I totally need a bad bar stool. Okay. I don't know how to start these videos off because I feel like I haven't talked to the camera in like three weeks. Actually, it's probably been like three weeks. All right, let's get this thing go. Hi guys, so I am back with another video. I know I've been MIA from YouTube and I've definitely been MIA from Twitter. Um, it's just been a little busy with trying to get the school year back going and the kids and family time and traveling and everything and I've been like swamped at work and so hopefully you guys will be seeing me a lot more soon. I have tons and tons of projects that I need to work on. I just, I can't even explain to you what it is I need to work on right now. Um, before I get started, if you guys are wondering about my dress, I've been getting compliments on it all day. Besides the fact that Tyrant says I look like that little swirly thing outside the barber shop. But the dress I am wearing today, I will stand up in my chair and show you. It is from Target. The top looks like this. The back is a zipper. I got this from Target. I do have a good amount of favorites for you guys. Um, will I be wrong if I said that I haven't done that much shopping? No, I wouldn't be wrong. I'd be right because... I'm proud of myself, even though I'm kind of like looking at something online. Okay, so let's jump on in. What the hell was that? Okay, so I have some food, some, some food, some beauty, some fragrance, some hair, some body, some face, some nails, which I need to paint mine. Um, so yeah, it is like 11.15 at night and I need to get this video out. So here we go. Is I'm going to start off with my favorite um, food, which is actually not a food, it's a drink. And I promise it's not an alcoholic drink this time. Um, they're actually these new Welch's sparkling drinks. Uh, a friend of mine posted a picture on Instagram talking about how she loved these drinks. I'm like, ooh, that looks good, just from the name of it. And it was a raspberry limeade. I tried it. I loved it. I started to buy them. Um, they're generally on sale most of the time. They're sold at Walmart, I know, and then some other local grocery stores. And I'm not sure where everyone is viewing this video from. So I'm not going to say like the grocery stores around me because you might not have them in your area. But I do know that they're sold at Walmart for sure. This one is the Raspberry Limeade. And then this one is the Strawberry Lemonade. They also have like... Ugh mango peach and some other one but these two are my favorite this is what I tried first and then I tried this one so go pick these up these are so so delicious they're sweet they're fruity they're sparkly they're bubbly they're like if you know Martinelli's sparkling apple cider it's kind of like that but a little bit more fruity and on the juice side um I am like a huge why am I this is like <gasps> Like, I'm talking like this, and I feel like I'm working on my biceps and my triceps. Okay, so the next thing is actually for your body, and it's the Dove Go Fresh Blue Fig and Orange Blossom Sit. This is one of the newer ones, and I came across this, like, a few months ago, and I was just being picky, and I'm like, oh, okay, it smells good, I'm not going to try it. But I'm a huge Dove body wash fan. I love how Dove makes your skin feel when you get out the shower. I love the scent. Um, it just really, Dove has, like, the tendency to really, really make your body feel as though it's getting clean. It smells good. It actually, it kind of smells like, <laughs> it's going to sound weird. I'm going to say it smells like, and of course, I have to associate this with food. Gosh, I'm such a foodie. Like, people ask me, like, you eat so much. Where does that food go? I'm like, girl, let's go into this boot time. smells like orange sherbet, but in the shower. Does that mean anything <laughs> okay so the next thing I have is for your face it's the Neutrogena deep clean invigorating foaming scrub 
Yeah, that's not a mouthful at all. Um, but what I love about it is, if you guys remember, I don't even know which favorites that was. Maybe my May favorites? I'm not sure. But I think I had mentioned that I liked the Clean and Clear Scrub and what I had been doing was com combining it with my normal face wash. Um, and I still like that. I still do that. Um, but I figured why not stay with the same line? Like I'm one of those people who if I'm going to wash my face twice a day or once a day or whatever, I really, really, really think it's important to kind of stick with the same line because every company has their products and their ingredients. and I just don't want my skin to feel imbalanced and I don't want to start breaking out in weird areas. And I just like to keep things the same. Um, so I figured if I'm going to use the clean and clear, why not get the Neutrogena? I don't know why I didn't get the Neutrogena at first. I think maybe because there was a serious price difference of like three or four dollars between the two. This was more expensive. Um, but the ingredients were pretty much the same. So I do like this. Um, as far as the whole foaming scrub part, I don't really know because I combine it with my other one, with my other face wash. So I don't really use it by itself. Um, so it's only 4.2 ounces, so it's not that much. Um, like I said, it is a little more, but I do like that it's still Neutrogena. But if you saw last month's video, um, I put in sort of like a surprise favorite and I said that I would mention to you guys if I liked it and if he made it. So he's here, but here's the thing. I haven't used it, used it. I've tested it out. I've used it on like a small portion of my leg and I've used it on my underarms. Um, but ultimately, I put it in the favorites just to say that I kind of like it. And if you're willing to try it, go try it. But I don't think it's really a fave fave. Just because, I guess you can call it like this is my unfavorite. Just because to me, and maybe it's just my body, like shaving creams and shaving gels just kind of all work the same for me. And I usually will only buy skin to mint. I will say that I've tried the EOS or EOS, however you want to say it. I've tried their shaving cream and I do like theirs. Um, it did make my skin very soft. But, I mean, at the end of the day, my skin's not going to feel probably as soft as it was at night. What I do wish is that they'd have a product out that was an aftershave for your legs. If you guys remember a long time ago, this had to be like 2005, 2006 because I was a freshman in college. Um, skin to Mint had a product called Aftershave and right now they do not sell it anymore. It's discontinued and they don't have a product out for women to just like put on their legs when they get out the shower. So what I usually will do is put on like baby oil that has like aloe or vitamin E in it just to kind of like rehydrate my legs after shaving. So that's what I really wish that I could find. But I'm not gonna say this is like an ultimate fave, but it did work pretty well. Um, It does say that it's for sensitive skin. I don't have that, that much sensitive skin. It's sort of like combination skin, but it's inexpensive. So if you're willing to try it, I'd go pick it up. So the next one is a scent. Um, you guys seen this roll on from my Chicago haul. Um, it's the Daisy Oh So Fresh and it's the roll on. These roll ons, one thing that I love is that the roll ons are only $20. I love that you can throw this in your purse and you can just smell good all day. Um, but yeah, I love the scent. I am a fan of Marc Jacobs scents, just about all of them. I own Lola and that's one of my favorites. I got that for Mother's Day, I think, last year. I still have a full bottle, which just proves how much, how many scents I have. Um, but this is the Oh So Fresh. I also like his other fresh, which is the one with the colorful flowers, but I don't remember the name of it. So put it down in the comments because I forgot. He does have a new one out, and it's called Honey. And I love that he, like, matches the bottles to the names. So the new one called Honey is actually a bumblebee. Um, just like Dot was a ladybug. Um, but yeah, I'd go pick these up. If you don't have the scent already, um, or if you never smelled it, what I do is I go to Sephora. A lot of people don't know. Let me put this tip in. A lot of people don't know that if you go to Sephora, and you can have them make you just about any sample you want. Sometimes they tell me only three, but it, I guess it kind of depends on who's there and what time of day it is. Sometimes people go and they'll get like six or seven. But just walk in and say, hey, can you make me some samples? And they'll make you samples in like little squirt 
bottle like this of just about anything and they'll put it in a little baggie and they'll write what it is on there for you and that's how I kind of test out fragrances and then if I like it then I'll probably go back and either buy a roll on or go back and buy the small perfume bottle that's it okay so I have three things for your nails um this is another one that I mentioned in my haul that I got for my birthday and it was a Sally Henson extreme wear line and it was the color twisted pink now, this is one of those pinks that I loved in the bottle because I mentioned that it's pink and it has like a sheer shimmer in it. But on my nails, oh my God. Like, I probably am going to paint my nails this again. It's probably one of my favorite, favorite pinks. I don't know what it is, but when this came out the bottle and was put on my nails, I was, I just, I literally kept looking, look, looking. Why do I always get done that? I literally kept looking at my nails like, Wow, I really love this pink. I love this color. I I don't know. And like I said before, Sally Hansen lines are very, very, very inexpensive. But Twisted Pink, number 240. Go pick up this color. I swear to you, it is like all year round pink. Your favorite pink in the world. You're going to stare at your nails. No, I don't have a food that it's related to. But I'm sure I'll probably think of one. But I don't know, like I loved the way this looked on my nails. I literally put it on my nails, I started them all week, and I'm like, this is going in my favorites. So here it is. So the other two things that I have for my nails are actually both by Sally Henson. And they're the Sally Henson um, Real Nail Polish Strips. I have been wanting to try nail polish strips for a very long time. Um, and I see them all the time, but I just don't ever really pick them up. Partly because I see that they're $9.00. Don't ask me why. I can spend $9 on OPI nail polish, but I can't spend $9 on nail strips. I'm just weird like that. I actually picked these up from a store called Five Below. Now, I don't know if Five Below is available everywhere or if it's all around the states. Um, recently in St. Louis, I know that there's three new locations and there's one that's really really close to me and I finally made my way in there when I first walked in I saw these things and they were three dollars so I was like I have to get some so I found two designs that I liked one was it's kind of like a mini polka dot it's baby blue and the other one is a larger polka dot that's pink um Everything obviously in Five Below is under is five dollars and under. So when I saw that I can get these at Five Below for three dollars, I was like, yeah. One thing about it though is that they don't have obviously every new design or every single design in the store. But I mean, what you find is still ultimately a good deal. Um, I will say, I liked. I liked the way they looked on my nails. I got a lot of compliments for it. It was easy to apply. Um, however, if you don't line them up on your nails, like initially the right way, then it's either going to be crooked or you can see some of your nail. Um, one of my nails, I actually didn't put it like right in front of the cuticle. It was like over the cuticle a little bit. So anytime I like go through my hair, it would get like caught in it and there would be like a string of hair that I have to pull out. Um, so besides that, and then when they chipped, it wasn't like nail polish it was like pieces of sticky paper that would get stuck in my hair so that was like the only bad thing that i didn't like about them but you can take them off with polish remover they're easy to apply and hey they were only three dollars so why not so the next two thing i have are for these things right here for your eyes for your eyes first one is from benefit and it's their real mascara now let me just say i do not look at the benefit line right now I, I just don't look at it um partly because it's kind of high yeah and I'm not a makeup wear but I got this actually in one of those packages that Sephora gives you for your birthday so if you don't know if you become a Sephora I think it's called a beauty insider member or whatever it's one of those free point things every year on your birthday they'll send you an email saying hey um, for this amount of time when you come with a purchase tell us it's your birthday or it's about to be your birthday or it just was your birthday and we'll give you a special gift and they usually will tell you what the gift is and this year the gift was um, a sample of the Their Real Mascara it's a black one that's one thing is it doesn't tell you whether it's waterproof which I found out it wasn't um, or what color it is but it's black and they also gave me a Benefit highlighter which is just sitting in there right now um, but I do like the mascara. The wand, you can see that, 
kind of reminds me of the Maybelline Rocket, which you guys know that I love, and that's probably like the main makeup that I will always wear is mascara most of the time. Um, but I do like it. It reminded me of the Rocket. The bristles were a little different, so my um, eyelashes were a little bit more defined, which is why I liked this. And then the other mascara is by Maybelline, and it's the Maybelline The Falsies Big Eyes, and it's the waterproof formula. Here, let me put this one down so that I can show you guys why I like this for those of you that do not know what this is. So, what this is, is it's a dual-sided mascara. This side, the purple side, and it tells you, is for your upper lashes, and this side, the black side, and it tells you, is for your lower lashes. So, you get two different wands for your eyelashes, and you don't have to worry about a big old wand on your bottom lash, and you're getting it all on your face. Now, the only, only downside to this mascara that I would say is that this part, because this is where the actual makeup is held, is not that big as a normal size mascara. So since you're getting a two-in-one, apparently seems to be Desiree's trend on YouTube is like two-in-ones and twofers. I don't know. So the upper lash, you get a wand, which is shaped a little differently than the rocket, a little thinner. You guys can see the end tip is a little thin. Thinner, but I do like it. It does make my eyelashes look nice, volumed, and long. Um, so that's this side. And then the lower lash is thin. So and it's perfect for your lower, lower lashes. I mean, it's 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 great. I mean, I can't really explain it. Explain it. I mean, compared to the rocket, compared to the benefit, they're real. For me, they all make my, my lashes look defined. Essentially, what I love about this one is just that it has the lower lash. So a lot of times I'll um a lot of times I'll just go back and forth between the rocket and then this one. Next two things I kind of have to talk about together. Well, I guess I don't have to talk about them together, but I used them together. So the first thing is the cream of nature um, with argan oil from Morocco, and it's the foaming wrap lotion. And then there are these soft twist rollers, which I only put back in the package so you guys can see what they came with. So let me explain this to you. And also be on the lookout for a hair tutorial. Now, if you follow me on Instagram, you saw that I posted a picture of a before and after. And my hair was curly. And I had these things in my hair. That hairstyle is called it's sort of like flexi rod curls, which I will be doing a tutorial on it soon. I literally wore my hair like that all last week. Um, and then I just washed it out. I'm going to take this out of the package to show you guys what they do. But um, if you're interested in this product, I would say go to any African American or ethnic beauty supply store and pick up a package of these. This one is the 11 by 16 diameter, which I like. And I will also be willing to try the purple ones, which I think is a three-fourths. Each color has a dimension. This is the short pack. There's also a longer pack, which goes to about here, and that's for obviously girls with like long, long hair. I have shoulder length hair, and the shorter um, rods worked for me. So these were like $3.79 for a six pack. I bought two packs, and I usually will use 10 to 12 in my hair, depending on how I just throw them up in there. So if you're interested in the hairstyle, or you're interested in these, go to the FF African American Beauty Supply Store and pick them up. I will say I've heard that Conair also has one and they call them spiral curlers, but I don't know where you can find those. But be on the lookout for a hair tutorial. But these, they essentially you wrap your hair and they like hold themselves. So there's no clips, they're soft, there's not like hard in your head when you're trying to sleep. So I really, really like these. And then something that I use with the hairstyle is the Argan Oak Argan Oil Foaming Wrap Lotion. Now, I've used other wrap lotions before for certain hairstyles, and a lot of times when I would wear my hair natural, I would use a setting lotion to kind of hold my curl. But I'm going to stop doing that. But what I liked about it is um, it's the Argan Oil with Mor from Morocco. I usually use Moroccan oil from the actual Moroccan oil line, like the, the really expensive Moroccan oil line. I buy their oil every three, four months because that's how, usually how long it takes me to go through a bottle. So when I heard about the Cream of Nature line and that they had an argan oil foaming lotion, I figured, okay, this isn't going to dry my hair out as much. It's not going to make my hair weigh down. Ultimately, I'm going to like it. And I did. This was $4.99 from the beauty supply store that I got this from. 
here's what it looks like up close. and I like it so between this and the rods my hair it was soft it wasn't hard it wasn't crunchy I, I, I liked it um, it actually made me kind of want to try the rest of their line possibly um, but I'm not sure but I have heard great great things about their products but the last thing for my hair are actually hair wraps which I got from Target actually like Saturday um, it came two to a pack. The one on this side uh, is dirty because I just washed my hair on Sunday. But it was actually in this design. It's like a multicolor design. And then this one is white with a highlighter yellow tip. So what you do is, just for the direction, say, you put it over your head, you twist it, you put the twist back, and there's a loop usually in the back, and it'll hold it in place. So uh, one, two, and the loop holds it. Usually when I'm washing my hair, I'm wasting like a bath towel or a beach towel just to do my hair. And I was like, I need a towel specifically for my hair. And at first I wasn't sure about like the material, but then the material of these is pretty much like a beach towel. So it's pretty much, instead of me using a towel, now I have my own towel designated for my hair. This is from the Room Essentials line from Target. They're also, they also had some from the Exhilaration line um, and they were both $9.99 for two. Okay, so actually the last favorite I have is my Michael Kors Medium Travel Tote. Um, as you know, I got this for my birthday last month and I love this bag. I literally just put like everything in it. Um, it's, a, it's an essential color for me. like when I'm going to work or whatever a lot of things go with this color which is why I wanted to get this color first which is like a nice caramel brown or tan and I mean everything fits in there from my umbrella to my iPad to my planner I went to Subway and I just threw my foot long in there and I put it on my shoulder and I was out the door ow I have it holds my keys so I'm not searching around for where my keys are I love it um love 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 it but that's actually everything that I have for you guys um, be on the lookout, like I said, for more videos. Hopefully things will start to like calm down a little bit. Things have really been crazy, crazy, crazy these past couple weeks. So I've missed you guys. Uh, thank you to all the new subscribers who have subscribed. I never even thought I'd make it over 100. So I'm really excited to see that. I looked the other day, just so I happened to look, and I was just like, whoa, 105. So thank you guys for being with me along this journey. Hopefully I don't let you all down. And I really, really enjoy what I'm doing here. Um, so thank you guys for that support. So I will talk to you guys soon. I am going to go get in the shower, paint my nails, eat some mind cream, and go to bed. Um, so love you. Bye.